Good afternoon. We're standing here on Knox Road, which is off Robertson Drive, over on the southeastern outskirts of Haywards Heath. This new development, built about six, seven years ago, uh, is actually situated behind the hospital. So if I look just up the road here, uh, the top of that hill, you've got the back of what is South Downs Park, which is the original St Francis Hospital. Over to our side, you've got this woodland. Beyond those woods are the St Francis uh, playing field. So there's a cricket club and a football club there. And also in the grounds there, there's an 18 metre indoor swimming pool, which you can pay and use as you go. There's some tennis courts and there's St Francis Bowls Club, literally at the top of this little road here. And you can walk up to the St Francis Social Club, which is the people in, who live around this side of town tend to use the local pub. Um, and if you're walking into town, that's the way you'd walk. You'd walk up through this development, cut through the back of the old hospital um, and into um, uh, Colwell Road and walk down into the town there. We're right, like I say, we're right on the southern outskirts of, southeastern outskirts of Haywards Heath. And actually we're off the um, part of the town relief road is over the back of us here. But just beyond that, there's some, uh, a tree line across the valley there. That is Hurstwood Lane. And in Hurstwood Lane, they're going to be building a new primary school in the next few years. Well, they're meant to be starting it this year. So hopefully that'll be done. But the house you're about to see is this one, number nine. It's, believe it or not, is actually a three-storey townhouse, but at ground level, you come in on the ground and you've got this fabulous ground floor kitchen breakfast room, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but really nice houses. We sold several of these. We sold number 13 on the end there, and we've actually just sold number three a few doors up, which if you were uh, uh, lucky enough, that one went way over its guide price as well. So really good design of house. And these people have actually, they bought it in 2015 when it's new, and these, like the neighbours, they've converted the garage into another room. So that could be either be a playroom or uh, a fourth bedroom, whatever you want to do. So come and have a look. Really versatile space. Now I keep meaning to tell you, if any of you are uh, tracking us on these videos, you're ahead of the game because I try to put these videos on uh, YouTube before they go on anything. So before they're on right move, even before we send them out to our database. So you're ahead of the game. So originally, this is the study. It's a lovely room. You'll see throughout the house, they've got lots of these plantation shutters, which are really nice. It's a really nice study. And you've got, I don't know if it's Antico or Candine flooring down here. And then this is what was the garage. So it's now been turned into the children's playroom. Handy bit of space. This is the cupboard in what was the back of the garage. Handy for a big fridge freezer. So very useful room. Like I say, it's either a bedroom, like I say, the children have got it as their playroom or, or chill out area. And I'm just going to take my shoes off because I'm going to go down, go upstairs and we go down first. On the right, the downstairs loo, or the first floor loo. You've got a loo, lots of loos on every level. And then a really nice sitting room. So this is a full width, south facing living room. Again, you've got these plantation shutters with all the bi uh, bifolding ones across these doors. And then come outside, got the balcony. Now this has got to be one of the best plots. They've actually, all of this estate actually did get pretty good sized gardens. But this one's got a really nice big wide garden. I'll take you out down there in a minute. It's 44 feet by 33 feet. And believe it or not, we're south facing. When we get up onto the top floor in a minute, you'll see you've actually got a view to the south downs. So as I see, you're three stories at the back, two stories at the front. There's actually some extra space around the side as well with this one. And then come upstairs. Really well laid out house, this one. We've sold a few of these over the last few years and um, they've never hung around because they are just so versatile, but actually really generous. Um, on the landing, got the airing cupboard, hatch up to the loft space. And then bedrooms wise, We've got three of them. So they're all, all these little ones, these are the two small ones, are doubles. Nice full length window there as well. One princess suite there. And then next door, another good size room. Again, decent double. Again, full length windows. Really, you know, I don't know who, what architects Crest Nicholson used to design these houses some years ago, but they did a really good job. That's the family bathroom. Absolutely spotless. Fully tile walls and the mirror. And then the main bedroom is here. Nice big bedroom. Full range of wardrobes there. And then that's the back, that's the view at the back. So you can't really see it on that, but if I try and zoom in on my camera, they are the South Downs over in the distance there. Fantastic, over the roofs of those houses. So really lovely view. Not a bad outlook, first thing in the morning, even on a grotty day like this. And then the ensuite. Good size, so oversized shower. Again, fully tiled with the mirrors. So 
So that's the upper floor. So just remember that. It's got three bedrooms, two bathrooms on this floor. You've got a lounge, a study and the playroom and the loo on the ground floor. And then come downstairs. Just grab my shoes. You've got the lower ground floor. I mentioned the new school being built over in Hurstwood Lane. That's obviously going to be a massive bonus. So a really nice walk to school if you had young children. So downstairs, they're on this floor. Handy big cupboard and a nice lobby. And then look at this kitchen. Fabulous big kitchen breakfast room. Plenty of room for a big table and chairs. Who doesn't want a kitchen breakfast room like this? And this is the garden level. So it's the best place to have the kitchen spinning out in the garden. I mean, we're here in the winter, but come uh, summertime, it's gonna be great. Nice to have the island with a breakfast bar. So you've got a five ring hob there, oven underneath and the extractor. And there's various other bits, obviously the uh, dishwasher, oh, sorry, yeah, dishwasher, fridge and freezer in here and a utility room. Again, anyone with young children, who doesn't want a utility room? Very useful, but really nice space. And then come out the back. Um, so I'm just going to say schools again. Now, this side of town, you're right on the southern outskirts of Haywood Teeth, but really your nearest school is Warden Park Secondary Academy. But some, uh, sorry, Warden Park Secondary Academy is over in Cookville. Your nearest one is Oat Hall Community College down in Linfield. That's the one with the farm. Um, however, I do know people on this side of town have even got their children into Chaley Secondary School down in South Chaley because the school bus picks up at the top of Fox Hill, which is only a, literally a 10 minute walk. But here we are in the back garden. It's a big back garden, south facing, level. They've done some planting, so obviously screening themselves off of the neighbours quite well. Nice, they managed to cut the grass as well. First cut of the year. And then actually behind this shed, it's quite a useful area. So if you ever really wanted to build, if you wanted to build some sort of clever shed or store area here, this would be the perfect spot to do it. So handy area, or just a productive growing area in between the neighbours. But there you go. That is number nine Knox Road. It's a three bed or three stroke four bedroom, two stroke three reception room, two bathroom, end of terrace townhouse on the southern edge of town in immaculate order, lots of flexibility and the garden south facing. What more do you need? If you're interested, please contact Mansell McTaggart in Haywards Heath on 01444 456 431. Thanks very much.